Pupil examination is an essential part of the neurologic exam. Manual pupil measurements are subjective and prone to error and inter-examiner variability. The pupilometer is a simple-to-use handheld device that provides accurate, reliable, and objective pupil size and reactivity data, independent of examiner. Most importantly, the pupilometer expresses pupil reactivity numerically, so that now for the first time ever, both pupil size and reactivity can be trended for changes, just like other vital signs. The most effective way to use the pupilometer is to establish the earliest possible baseline measurement with the first neurological exam when the patient is admitted into the ICU, the emergency department, or the post-anesthesia care unit, and then trend for changes over time following standard pupil assessment protocol. Automated pupilometry provides accurate, reliable, and objective pupil measurement, independent of the examiner. By removing subjectivity from pupillary evaluation, the NPI 200 pupilometer provides benefits to clinicians and patients through its ability to detect subtle pupil changes and to trend these changes over time. Open a new disposable smart guard. The smart guard will be used on the same patient for the length of the patient's admission. The smart guard has an RFID memory tag that stores 168 paired pupil measurements, facilitating upload to the patient's electronic medical record. First, attach the patient's smart guard to the pupilometer by placing it over the camera lens with the foam pad facing outward at the 6 o'clock position. Gently squeeze the smart guard side tabs to position onto the NPI 200 pupilometer. There will be an audible click when the smart guard is properly positioned. Prior to the first patient measurement, the patient ID must be entered properly into the smart guard using either the barcode scanner or manual entry of the patient ID. The patient ID is only required to be entered into the smart guard on the initial setup only. To begin the measurement, position the pupilometer with the smart guard at a right angle to the patient's axis of vision minimizing any tilting of the device. Remember, the pupilometer right and left buttons are oriented to the patient's eye being measured. Press and hold either the right or left button until the eye is centered on the touchscreen and the display shows a green circle around the pupil. Once the green circle appears, release the button and hold the NPI 200 in place for approximately 3 seconds until the result screen is displayed. Repeat the measurement for the patient's other eye to complete the bilateral pupil exam. When the bilateral pupil exam is complete, the NPI 200 measurement results will be displayed in yellow for the left eye and in green for the right eye. Using the touchscreen or keypad, select page 1, 1 slash 2, or 2, 2 slash 2, to display the results of the pupil measurement parameters and pupillary light reflex waveform. The Neurological Pupil Index, or NPI, is a numerical expression of pupil reactivity, providing a numerical value which can be trended over time for changes, just like other vital signs. Now, instead of guessing that a pupil is reacting as brisk, sluggish, or non-reactive, pupil reactivity is expressed numerically as NPI. Using the NPI Pupil Reactivity Assessment Scale, pupil reactivity is measured on a scale of 0 to 4.9. The closer the NPI is to 4.9, the more brisk the pupil response. As the number declines, the pupil is becoming more sluggish. An NPI of 3 or higher is considered a normal or brisk response, while an NPI less than 3 is considered an abnormal or sluggish response. An NPI of 0 signifies a non-reactive pupil or an atypical response. Pupil size is displayed to the hundredths. The pupillary light reflex waveform, or PLR, is displayed for both the left and right pupils. By pressing the 1 slash 2 button at the bottom of the screen, you can advance to Results Page 2, which shows additional pupillary measurements. From the results screen, while patient data is displayed, a video playback of the pupil response can be accessed by pressing the green arrow button on the touchscreen. The pupillometer will store and display only the video from the last measurement. After taking a measurement, you can return to the home screen of the pupilometer by pushing either the right or left button on the keypad.
Automated pupillometry provides accurate, reliable, and objective pupil measurement independent of the examiner. By removing subjectivity from pupillary evaluation, the NPI 200 pupillometer provides benefits to clinicians and patients through its ability to detect subtle pupil changes and to trend these changes over time, improving patient care. For more information about the NPI 200 pupillometer system, including instructions for use, cleaning instructions, and clinical publications pertaining to pupillometry, please go to our website at neuroptics.com. To contact your local representative, email us at info at neuroptics.com.